welcome to Schenectady today in and around the Capital Region. I'm so happy that you're allowing me to enter your home today with such a great show. I guess I need to move back a little bit. Okay, good. Uh, and it, this is going to be a really great show. We have four Elvis tribute artists on. And woo! So we're going to be hearing from them. That's our audience clapping. So they have they brought an entourage with them as well. And then we're going to be talking about Alpha One support which with Richard Loverich, this is a, an orphan disease that we'll be talking about. Then we're gonna be going over to Albany and learn about Ann Iliad, which is at Cap Rec. I'm really looking forward to that play. And then we're gonna hear about uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, wonderful classic play, uh, just a wonderful play. And I think you're gonna enjoy hearing from three young actors, which are gonna be kind of fun to hear about their experiences. And then we're gonna hear about the job fair in Schenectady. And of course, there's one in uh, Saratoga as well. But right now, we're going to start out with our first guests. And uh, I'm not going to do the interview. I'm doing it a little bit different this time. We're, we have uh, the performers. We're going to have Spencer Boyce um, perform first, then Matthew Boyce, and then we have Kevin Harder, and then TJ Green. Did I get that in the right order? Yep. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then we also have Deborah Austin here, and she's with uh, the Little Theater on the Farm in Fort Edward, and we'll be talking about the venue that they will be performing at, and, and it's a fundraiser. And TJ uh, Green will be telling us a little bit more about that fundraiser. So I'm gonna just get, do I, I don't have my mic on. Can you guys hear me? I forgot to put my mic on. No, okay. Okay, I guess you heard me. You must have heard me, right? Was that okay, Jay, can you hear me? Okay, I guess he heard me. Uh, so we're going to uh, do the, um, the music first, and then after that, I'll be back on the set. Uh, go ahead, take it away, and then I guess they're gonna do the sound. Yeah, somebody's gotta have it. Oh, here goes that. Ladies and gentlemen, track two. Track three. 
Sure. There we go. And oh, I go from race to riches. If you would only say you can, and oh, my pockets may. Clothes may still be torn in tatters, but in my heart I'd be a king. It's all that ever matters. Oh, it's everything. So open your heart and you'll all. I saw you And I just smiled And told them It's been a day Or two There'll be no way To tell them The pain that I've been through Oh my love you have left me indescribably blue I talk to your picture my favorite one of you I wish that you were here with me but what good will it do there'll be no way to tell her the pain that I been through Oh my love you have left me indescribably blue Yes my love you have left me indescribably Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Very kind. Thank you. TJ Green.
from the beach Cause someone shoved his face against my up again uh, with me and you're going to sit in the middle TJ Absolutely. okay great we're going to be talking briefly uh, wasn't that great How, another applause for this great group oh my gosh they're wonderful uh, you heard from Spencer Boyce first and then Matthew Boyce and then you heard from Kevin Harder and you've also heard from TJ Green these are all Elvis tribute artists I want to remind you they are not impersonators they are tribute artists right is that correct Absolutely. I get it right yeah, yeah. good yeah Absolutely. And I understand, and I'm just real quickly, that Matthew, uh, you got a microphone? Give Matthew a mic for a minute. I can grab that one. Okay. Oh, what do they do? Take that mic away? <laughs> I got a mic now. Okay, he's got a mic. Right, got a mic. Uh, and Matthew, you just got back from Canada. Let's tell us quickly about that experience. Yeah, I was in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. I was there since, uh, since Saturday, and uh, Friday, actually. And uh, I was in a contest with, up there called Rock and Roll Remembered, and I left being the grand champion. So. Woo-hoo! <laughs> Okay, that's great. I just had to give you a shout out Thank on that because I saw you on Facebook. So anyway, absolutely, Spencer won that's the awesome. Uh, right. Award too, yeah, so. where goes Spence? And you, wait, I want to make sure you're mic'd. Are you mic'd? No, uh, no you're gonna no. have. Is there a mic for you? Yeah, okay, you make sure you get mic'd. We have a cord. <laughs> and you have a mic at the end of it, there hopefully. We go. Oh dear. Okay. Well, hold okay, it. I'll hold just it. Hold it. Yeah, just hold it for now. Uh, there is a mic. Uh, we always lose those clips. But anyway, we're talking about a big um, benefit that's coming up in July. And it's going to be held on the farm uh, at, in um, Fort Edward. Uh, so this is really an amazing um, uh, production that they're putting together. And it's a tribute, but it's also a fundraiser. So we'll hear about that. I think we'll start out with TJ and let him explain roughly what this is about. Uh, well, uh, the uh, event is called I'll Remember You. Uh, it's an Elvis, well, it's a tribute concert. It's not just Elvis, uh, in honor of uh, my late aunt Olivia uh, Libby Farncombe. Uh, she passed away two years ago to stage four colon cancer, uh, and I'd wanted to do something special, kind of to pay it forward as well as you know celebrate. And so you're raising money for the cancer society. Absolutely, yeah. we're going to be uh, splitting all the proceeds uh, from uh, the event to the American Cancer Society, as well as her favorite charity, which was the American Diabetes Association. Okay, so it's important that right now get your calendar out and mark the calendar because it's going to be held on July 8th. It'll be in Fort Edward, and we're, we also have uh, a person representing uh, the little <coughs> theater on the farm in Fort Edward, and I'll just switch right over here to Deborah. So Deborah, tell us a little bit about the farm. It's a, um, we're a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We hold um, uh, over 30 concerts a year. Wonderful. We're, we're located between Argyle and Fort Edward. Okay. Um, it's on a farm. Yeah, yeah it's uh, literally, it's an 1850s, um, <laughs> It's an 1850s restored barn, and um, 
we, uh, we, we do a lot of country and bluegrass um, mm -hmm. music as well as benefits and um, uh, and what highway is that on? If someone wants it's uh, 27 Plum Road, Fort Edward, New York. It's in Fort Edward. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, if you put it in the GPS, it'd be 27. It'd be so Fort that they Edward. can get there. And oh, so yeah. you, you're you're hosting this event well, for yeah, them. Yeah. 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 The, the, we're going to be the platform. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And is this a theater in the round? Is it what kind of a theater? It is a straight uh, straight theater. You know, it's, okay. it's a, you know it's seating. Inside, have, outside. Um, inside, we have an inside seating area, and we also have an outside um, covered area. Or like for in the summer months when it gets warm and we can, we open the barn doors and it, and it extends backwards. So if anyone is interested in renting it, that, that they should give you a call. Yeah, no, they should give, um, a, with a, you can go on um, <clears throat> under our website at um, littletheater27.org. Okay. Um, or you can give us a call, um, give the theater a call, um, all our information. So on because people are looking right now, people yeah. are looking for venues. So oh yeah, yeah, really yeah. Good. We're we're a welcoming venue. Right. We love it. And uh, TJ, so you you chose this place for the venue, which is a great great yes, idea. Yes, absolutely. Um, I first got to know uh, the venue uh, through my friend Kevin here because he had done several shows before with uh, with them. And, and then uh, I happen to know uh, Debbie here through uh, her daughter, Lauren. We used to work at The Great Escape together okay. uh, back in 07 in the same, we were in entertainment together. Um, and then she got a hold of me and talked to me about uh, an Elvis tribute contest that they were doing as a fundraiser. Oh, so uh, you were doing one. Legs okay. for Ron yeah. Sturges, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which all of us uh, ETAs here competed in. Yeah. Um, and it was a blast and oh, so, yeah. that was fun. Uh, she uh, contacted me as well as uh, the other members of the little theater uh, and talked to me about uh, my, because I wanted to do this benefit. Right. Uh, and they volunteered and they've been so welcoming and amazing. And with TJ's it. been on the show before and he's performed for us. Uh, Kevin, this is your first appearance here. Yes, it is. And, and uh, so hold your microphone up. <laughs> yes, it is. And I'm really excited. I don't know. I got to direct know everything. Sport, but I'm going to hold it up. <laughs> And I even forgot to put my mic on to start out with. Kevin, how long have you been doing this? Microphone up. Um, I've been doing this, I want to say, 30, 40 years. But but you're not going to say that. No, I'm not mm -hmm. going to say that. For <laughs> public, I've been doing it 10 to 11 years. <laughs> Good. And uh, Matthew, I know you've been doing it quite a while, and you're going to share your microphone with Spencer. Spencer, you're the bro the lower brother, the younger brother, of, uh, lower because I'm looking at height there, of uh, Matthew. And how long have you been? Have you been doing it as long as Matthew? Matthew said he was doing it when he was uh, two years old and is listening to his grandmother or aunt play. Yeah, well, I picked it up from him. I used to perform like mini concerts in my grandma's living room. And uh, then just a couple of years ago, I did Lake George, and that was when I started doing it publicly. Yeah, so. great. Yeah, that's when I really broke into it. So Matthew has been your mentor. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, Matthew. Uh, in, in, how do you see your career, Matthew? Uh, I'm, I'm doing my microphones here. Um, how do you see your career going? Uh, well, I, I'm enrolling in college in a few weeks. I saw that. And, uh, that's exciting. Thank you. And uh, so I'll be studying music industry and education. So I'm hoping to get it somewhere in the field of that, but I, a dream would be to tour around with a tour like Legends in Concert or to do something of the yeah, sort uh, with an Elvis tribute. Uh, I'd love to do something like that, but teaching's always been a soft spot. Well, you know he's that, never so. going to die, right? Oh, the music's never going to die. Never going to die. Oh, no. And, and just from his gospel straight on up. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm looking, are you going to be at the, are all of you going to be at the yeah. Lake yeah. George? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's going to be great. I'll see you all up there because I go yeah. every year because oh, it, it's so much uh, fun. I love it. I love it. I am an Elvis fan. I have mm -hmm. to, this is my, my little secret. I'm coming out of the closet. <laughs> 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 I love Elvis. So anyway, so I want to thank you all for being here and for performing and mm -hmm. doing it so beautifully and in entertaining our guests there. Uh, we're going to take just a quick break, and we will be showing some of the footage from the, Elvis, the Lake George Elvis Festival. I don't know who's on it, but you're going to see some of it. Oh, there it is. Uh, so then we're, what we're going to do is then we're going to be going over to Cap Rep and finding about an Iliad. If you remember Homer from college and high school, this is all what it's all about. Stay tuned.